could try to figure out a Rubik's Cube 3,000 times, I've accepted it's never going to happen. Like the movie Inception. It came out 12 years ago, and I still can't wrap my mind around that one. Just as confusing is Kyrie Irving. What is he thinking? How many games will he play this season? Will it be in Brooklyn? Who knows? My guess is about as good as figuring out a Rubik's Cube. Maybe Nick Friedel has answers. When world number one Iga Swiatek isn't playing tennis, she's got her head buried in a book. For her 20th birthday, her management team gifted her 20 books. She read Gone with the Wind for the first time this year. She cried and cried. It said it had so much impact on her emotional being. Those emotions were certainly tested on Saturday. In the last 30 years, American women have dominated at Wimbledon in the ladies' championship. From Serena Williams' seven titles, to five from Venus, to Lindsay Davenport's 1999 championship. But it is a different story in the girls' category, which is for ages 14 to 18. Because only one American has won Wimbledon in that span, Claire Liu, back in 2017. That video could go like seven hours, by the way. Well, we could talk about the numbers. Big Poppy played 20 seasons of Major League Baseball. He has three World Series rings, 541 home runs, and is the 58th player selected to the Baseball Hall of Fame in his first year of eligibility. I can't mention the stats without including the man, the teammate, and the citizen that David Ortiz is, a man who addressed a crowd following the Boston Marathon bombing with encouragement passion and love for his city. A man who made his charity his mission, supporting children in the Dominican Republic and Boston area. A man with a smile so bright that will light up an entire stage Saturday in Cooperstown. Albert Pujols may be 42 years old, but this month he's playing like he's 22. Entering Tuesday, he leads all of baseball in batting average, OPS, and was tied with Max Muncy and Paul Goldschmidt for the most home runs this month. In his last 10 months, Pujols has hit seven homers, becoming the oldest player all time to hit at least seven home runs in a 10-game span. The last time he had that many home runs in a 10-game span was back in 2015, which was the last time he had 40 home runs in a season. He has 693 home runs in his career, which is three shy of tying A-Rod for the fourth most in Major League Baseball history. With his home run on Monday versus Drew Smiley, Pujols now has hit a homer against 449 different pitchers, which is tied with Barry Bonds for the most all time. Of college football is here. Nebraska Northwestern will start things off in Dublin, Ireland, in the earliest calendar date of a Big Ten conference game. Nebraska was three and nine last year, with all nine losses coming by nine points or fewer. New Mexico State hosts Nevada at 10 Eastern. This is the only one of seven Week Zero matchups between two FBS teams that'll feature two new head coaches: Ken Wilson at Nevada and Jerry Kill at New Mexico State. Florida A&M will take on North Carolina at 8.15 Eastern on the ACC Network. Rattler coach Willie Simmons told a local TV station that there are 20 ineligible players for the game on Saturday due to academics or transfer eligibility. And Timmy Chang makes his coaching debut at his alma mater, Hawaii, at 10.30 Eastern. They host Vanderbilt. Chang ranks second in FBS history and passing yards behind Case Keenum. Coming up on Sports Center, the mayor of Flavortown, Guy Fieri, joining the show. Uh, Other celebrities, I don't have this done to me. Oh, how the tables have turned. Oh, my God. Okay, okay. So, so you see two pictures, okay. and it's going to relate to sports in some way. So what do you see here? Uh, it's got to be Jerry Rice. Easy. Okay, thank one, you very much. One nice for Guy, one for Guy. Now, this is a great story. Okay. But it's Bo Jackson. Of course. Okay. Play the MLB. Steve, I didn't even want to leave first. Yeah, that's I, a, I want to hang I, out with. I'm not running to second, right? Exactly. Oh. Come on. Okay, well, good. at least you get him a little bit. Okay, this running. final one, Guy Fieri on Sports Center. Thanks so much for hanging out. Gave the answer. <laughs> A win for everyone and a win for us here at Sports Center LA. Fantasy football and sports betting analyst Liz Loza joining us now ahead of week one of the NFL season. You will be here every week to yes. help school us, give us insight, advice, everything. Are you ready for that responsibility? I'm here for you, Ashley. <laughs> All right, let's do it, Liz. Let's kick it off with three trendy players who you think may not meet expectations in week one. So those are the big names. How about three players that are trying to prove themselves and, and maybe look for redemption in week one? Yeah, let's start in 2021. All right, Are you taking notes at home, you? <laughs> yes, you needed that. We all needed that. Liz Loza, a pleasure to have you, and we look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks, Thanks Ashley. You.
So the Sun take game five and advance to the WNBA finals, and they did it in style, closing game five on an 18 to nothing run, the longest run to close a playoff game in league history. The Sun will face the Aces in the final, both teams looking for their very first title. The last time the finals featured two teams without a title was back in 2019, when the Mystics beat the Sun in five games. And in the regular season, Las Vegas took two of three meetings against the Sun, but all three games were high scoring, and all three games were decided by fewer than 10 points. And with more on this matchup, here's Carolyn Peck. Welcome to week two of the college football season. Nine of the top 10 teams are facing an unranked opponent this week. Only number nine Baylor plays number 21 BYU in a matchup of future Big 12 rivals. At 3.30 Eastern on ABC, number 24 Tennessee visits number 17 Pitt. This is the fourth all-time meeting between the schools, but the first in Pittsburgh. Pitt has won the previous three meetings, the only current ACC team Tennessee has never beaten. At 7 Eastern on ESPN, number 12 Florida hosts 20th ranked Kentucky. A great matchup of quarterbacks in this one. Florida's Anthony Richardson is Mel Kiper's number four quarterback prospect for the draft. Kentucky's Will Levis is fifth. And in a matchup of future SEC rivals, number one Alabama visits Texas. The Longhorns are 20-point home underdogs, but they've had success against Alabama historically, going 7-1-1 against the Tide. The best record of any team to face them at least five times. For more on that matchup, let's head out to Austin.